Heavenly Father, today we come to you as your children, asking for your healing touch and your gentle comfort. Lord, we are grieving over the loss of our friends, of our brothers in arms, and we ask that you would help us in our time of need. You've promised that when we cry out, you would hear us from heaven and work within our hearts, granting us peace because we know you are holding your children safely in your arms. Please hear our cry, turn our mourning of what we've lost into joy because of the hope we have in you. Amen. Please be seated. Good morning and thank you for joining us on the solemn occasion as we honor and pay tribute to Sergeant Michael J. Knapp and Sergeant Gibran S. Knox. There is no confusion as to the purpose of today's ceremony. We have come together to show our appreciation for each of these beloved brothers. We are here to honor and celebrate their lives. We are here to remember the contributions they have made to our lives, as well as to honor their service to the country. We are proud of their diligence, courage, and commitment to the United States and to Afghanistan. And even though this is a painful time, we are here to honor and remember lives well, well lived, and hopefully your presence today is a source of strength and pride for the families of our departed comrades. As you know, all of us are here today as fellow soldiers, as brothers and sisters in arms. As soldiers, we belong not only to our loved ones, our spouses, our parents, our children, our friends, but also to the family of the United States Army. When a soldier swears allegiance to our great nation, when he proudly puts on the uniform, when he or she performs a faithful and time-honored act of serving, that soldier becomes part of something bigger and greater than himself or herself. You may not have known these soldiers personally, but you do know them. They experienced many of the same challenges and triumphs that you have. They were part of one half of 1% of the U.S. population that donned on a military uniform. Like you, they were special. They were willing and eager to serve their country. They stood proud during the national anthem and the Army song. And I am confident that, like me, both of these soldiers felt that proud tingle when reciting the Soldier's Creed, especially the last two lines, I am a guardian of freedom and the American way of life. I am an American soldier. Sergeant Michael J. Knapp was born on December 2nd, 1983 in Overland Park, Kansas. In 2004, he enlisted in the United States Army and attended basic combat training at Fort Knox, Kentucky, and later attended advanced individual training as a 13 Bravo cannon crew member at Fort Sill, Oklahoma. He was a combat veteran deploying to Kosovo in January 2005 in support of the United Nations peacekeeping mission, to Iraq in 2006 in support of Operation Iraqi Freedom, and to Afghanistan in 2011 in support of Operation Enduring Freedom. Sergeant Knapp was killed in action on 18 May while performing his duties as a howitzer crew member at Fob Bostic, RC East Afghanistan. He is survived by his wife, Abby Dillon Knapp, and his daughter, Kinsley P. Knapp. Sergeant Gibran S. Knox was born in Fort Wayne, Indiana on July 13, 1988. In 2009, he enlisted in the United States Army and attended basic training and advanced individual training as a 13 Bravo Cannon Crew member at Fort Sill, Oklahoma. He was a combat veteran belonging to Iraq in 2009 in support of Operation Iraqi Freedom and to Afghanistan in 2011 in support of Operation Enduring Freedom. Sergeant Knox was killed in action on 18 May 2012 while performing his duties as a Howitzer crew member at Fob Bostic, RC East Afghanistan. He is survived by his wife, Courtney Ray Cox, and his son, Braylon Kenneth Knox. We did not know our appointed time, but these men wisely used their, the time they were given. Although words cannot express how much each soldier meant to us, we want to say thank you for your service, your dedication, courage, and hard work will not be forgotten. We are grateful for our time together. We are honored to have shared this experience with you. In, close, in closing, as an Army family, I would like to once again express our deepest sympathies to the families and the loved ones of our fallen. They will be missed, but they will not be forgotten. I have no words to express what Sergeant Gibran Knox and Sergeant Michael Knapp meant to their families, this platoon, this battery, and myself. I can only hope that my words here give you some brief insight into what, who these men were, and that I can begin to express what a privilege it was to know them and the deep sorrow that accompanies their loss. 
Sergeant Knox and Sergeant Knapp were two of the finest soldiers, NCOs, and above all, men that I have ever had the privilege of knowing. They were dedicated to their families, their soldiers, and the mission at hand. Both were husbands and fathers and would light up whenever they had the chance to talk about those that they had left at home. The last time that I talked to Sergeant Knox was about three weeks ago. We talked at length about his family, the future of his son, and the challenges of taking care of that family while coping with deployment and the Army in general. The fact that he was able to excel not only in his profession, but also as a father, is a testament to how special of a person he truly was. Sergeant Knapp was no less dedicated to his family. I can still see his wife and child the day we left Fort Lewis. His sorrow of leaving was evident, but his resolve and commitment to the mission at hand allowed him to make the ultimate personal sacrifice for the sake of his soldiers. Sergeant Knox and Sergeant Knapp were skilled leaders and artillerymen. Sergeant Knox especially took every fire mission personally. He considered the safety of any soldiers being attacked in his range his responsibility. The speed and accuracy of their rounds protected their fellow soldiers and devastated the enemy, and they both knew it. The leg legacy these two soldiers leave is the soldiers you see in front of you. No matter what the challenge, they kept the morale of the soldiers in their charge high. Through jokes, pranks, mentorship, and when necessary, a kick in the ass, they kept their soldiers focused and ready. The effect they had on the soldiers of the platoon and battery will live on. And we will all strive to live up to the example they set and to honor their sacrifice. Although we are devastated by the loss of our brothers and words now are of little comfort, I know that we are privileged to have known them, we are honored to have served with them, and we are all better men because of the examples they set. Sergeant Michael J. Knapp was born on December 2nd, 1983 in Oakland Park, Kansas. In 2004, he enlisted in the United States Army and attended basic combat training at Fort Knox, Kentucky. After completing basic combat training at Fort Knox, Sergeant Knapp returned to his National Guard unit in Kansas where he performed his duties as the 63 Alpha Abrams tank mechanic. Sergeant Knapp deployed in January of 2005 to Kosovo in support of United Nations peacekeeping missions where he conducted patrols and provided a show of force. In 2006, he re redeployed back to Kansas where eight months later he volunteered to deploy again with the 731st Transportation Battalion to Iraq and take part in Operation Iraqi Freedom 06-08. While serving in Iraq, he completed over 50 convoys to Central and Northern Iraq. After serving in Iraq for a year, he redeployed back to the States and in October 2009, he was discharged out of the National Guard. Two weeks after finishing his time in the National Guard, he then enlisted in the regular active duty Army and was sent to Fort Sill, Oklahoma for advanced individual training as a 13 Bravo Cannon Crew member. In March 2010, Sergeant Knapp was stationed at Fort Lewis in Washington State. While stationed at Fort Lewis, Sergeant Knapp and his unit prepared for their deployment to Afghanistan as a field artillery crew member on the M777 Alpha II. Sergeant Knapp was killed in action on 18 May 2012 while performing his duties as a howitzer crew member at Fall Bostick in RC East Afghanistan. His awards and decorations include the Bronze Star Medal, Purple Heart, Army Commendation Medal, Army Achievement Medal, Army Good Conduct Medal, Army Reserve Components Achievement Medal, National Defense Service Medal. Kosovo Campaign Medal with Bronze Service Star, Afghanistan Campaign Medal, Iraq Campaign Medal, Global War on Terrorism Service Medal, NCO Professional Development Ribbon, Armed Forces Reserve Medal, Army Service Ribbon, Overseas Service Ribbon, NATO Medal, Combat Action Badge, Basic Marksmanship Qual Badge, Driver Mechanic Badge, Army Superior Unit Award, and Louisiana Emergency Service Ribbon.
He is survived by his wife, Abby Diane Knapp, and his daughter, Kinsley P. Knapp. Sergeant Knapp was one of the greatest men that I've ever had the privilege to meet, and I'll never be able to thank God enough for allowing me to be a part of his life. Sergeant Knapp was a patriot, a family man, someone who feared and loved God, the hardest worker I've ever met, and someone who will always define selfless service to me. I can only hope that one day I can not only be half the soldier Sergeant Knapp was, but half the man he was. One of the things I'll always remember and miss is I'm sure everyone else in the platoon in that new Sergeant Knapp will, will be his million dollar smile he had. Sergeant Knapp had that smile that could light up any room he was in. We joke around because his smile was so big that when he smiled, it wrinkled the back of his head. One of the memories that will always stay with me was how he thought NASCAR was a sport and everyone else in the platoon thought it wasn't. He loved Kansas State sports, country music, his country, serving his country, but there was nothing more that he loved than his wife, Abby, and daughter, Kinsley. I can only hope that I can love my future wife and kids half as much as he did. I'll always remember the times coming in from guard late at night and hearing him tell Abby and Kinsley how much he loved them and couldn't wait to get back to them. When Sergeant Knapp would talk about them, you could just see the glow in his eyes and how nothing else in the world mattered to him. Sergeant Knapp was a man of very strong faith, and I can recall several times of going to church with him on Sunday. Though, we, though now we all mourn the loss of our fallen brother, we can all find peace in knowing that this isn't merely goodbye, but better yet, see you later, Sergeant Knapp. You'll always be in my heart, Sergeant Knapp. I'll see you on the other side. Your soldier forever, right first class with Bonnie George. Sergeant.